Um, hello, hello. hello and welcome to our show. Today we're going straight from our Zoom room and we're going to be talking about rapid mortgage reduction. This is my Zoom room. It's a lovely office. Thank you. I'm in my Zoom room, which is great. Yes. So we're here to talk about how to virtually cut your mortgage in half. We're going to get out those big scissors and start chopping away at that mortgage. Exactly. A lot of people have been asking to learn the actual, exactly how it's done. And we're going to go through it today. Awesome. Right. I think, um, especially in this day and age with interest rates and everything that's happening, a lot of people are feeling the crunch and, you know, doing it tough. So this will be a very valuable session for a lot of people. Yes. But what, what I want to mention is when it comes to your mortgage, we've got to think about it um, in a different way. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's three types of mortgages you can get, right? There's a mortgage where it serves the bank. We go to a bank and they're hiring people to sell you what they want you to do. Right. It doesn't necessarily serve you. Mm -hmm. And then you can go to some brokers and if they're not locked in and they're not part of your long-term strategy and they don't understand investing and as many of them don't then they're just going to get a loan that serves them or something's going to be easy for them to get for you so they can right. make their commission mm -hmm. and then you've got the third and the third type of loan is the loan you want and the loan you want to get is a loan that serves you as an investor mm -hmm. not for one property but for your long-term goals so that's okay. what I want to talk about before we actually talk about rapid mortgage reduction because the key to your loan is getting a loan that's going to slowly get you to your long-term goals. Right. So it starts with getting the right loan, basically. Yeah. Well, what it starts with is one, finding out what your long-term goals are. Mm -hmm. And then we work back from that and go, okay, which loan is going to get you there? Because certain loans... Because uh, at the moment, for example, at the moment, if you get a fixed loan, you're going to get a cheaper interest rate. And that could be quite exciting to do. Yeah. Save some money. And there's nothing wrong with saving money. However, before you hunt that cheaper fixed rate interest rate, what you've got to do is look at, okay, when am I going to have to refinance? And is that going to impede me? Because what could happen? I could go, I want a fixed rate and I can get a really good deal. And five years fixed rate, I've got a better deal than what it is now. But then in a year's time, I want to buy a property and I'm not going to be able to get that property unless I pay fees to break it. Yeah, so it's going to set you back eventually. I think exactly. you might need to reposition your microphone there, George. We just had a little bit of feedback that um, sounds a little bit low. Yeah, try okay. it now. Let me try again. Can you hear me now? Slightly louder, yeah. Okay. I can hear you fine. Okay, you can. Good. Okay, yeah. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to now share my presentation. Look, and you get asked this a lot, you know, do I go fixed or variable? It's the age-old question. Yes, and what I say do? it depends. It mm -hmm. depends because it depends on where you're at in your property journey because sometimes fixed can be better and right. sometimes variable better. Mm -hmm. But usually, can you see my screen? I can, yes, your PowerPoint. Great. That's a good thing. Just need to share full screen. How's that? Beautiful. Looks great. Okay, great. Excellent. We're here and I can actually start sharing. So this is the Markowski method. And basically this is the genius model, the formula on how to get property. Mm -hmm. And overall, we're talking about, you know, money for life in the middle, growth, security, and cash flow. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about one part of this. And that part is called structure. So if you look at the bottom left under strategy, mm -hmm. there's structure. And basically structure is how do we get a loan that serves us? That's the and question. And that's part of how they cut your mortgage in half too. Yes. So I'm going to drill down on that little part because there's a lot more to property investing than just rapid mortgage reduction. But rapid mortgage reduction is a good part of it. Yeah. And um, it's part of the strategy. But, 
you're not trying to reproduce, rapidly reduce your mortgage from the beginning because at the beginning, what we're trying to do is accumulate as many properties as we can because mm -hmm. you go through different phases. So what happens is the first phase is um, when it comes to investing, the first phase is for actually getting your income and your savings and your borrowing up to where you can invest. Mm -hmm. Then the second phase is actually investing as many as you can. Once you invest and get as many properties as you need, then the next phase is actually paying them all off. So there's right. three distinct phases and you don't want to try to do one while you're doing another. But the beautiful part is we can actually power off our mortgage in the background while still growing our portfolio. Cool. Like having your right. cake and eating so, it too. Yeah, exactly. And this is a protected empire because you want to be out, one of the things you need to do is you need to make sure you get the right structure. And when it comes to protecting your empire, part of the thing is there's a passive form of asset protection and that's how you structure the loan so the bank hasn't got control over all of the equity, just the equity it needs. Because mm -hmm. what a lot of banks do is they try to grab all your equity even though they don't need, don't need it all. So it depends on mm -hmm. what you do there and what you negotiate. Right. And so I want to talk about team. When you're investing, you want a team of people. So this guy here is not going to beat this team here. And mm -hmm. when you're investing, you don't want to be this guy you want to be these guys. Mm -hmm. That's who you want on your team. Maybe yeah. not the rugby team, but you know what I'm saying? A team of people that know exactly what they need to do. And obviously, you need your circle of safety. So let's do this. So what we want to do is we want to get, we want to buy property and we want to use the tax deductions to help us pay it off. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go through how this works at a holistic way. So, Let's talk about your owner-occupier. Mm -hmm. The owner-occupier is a lovely house and people, the biggest Australian dream is owning an owner-occupier. The thing is, as my mentor Robert Kiyosaki says, an owner-occupier property is not an investment um, because yes. of the liability. Because we've got to think about good debt and bad debt. And owner-occupier is bad debt. There's no way around it, it's bad debt. So what a lot of people are doing now which is really smart, is what they're doing is they're rent vesting. Mm -hmm. And by rent vesting, um, they can actually um, get the, live where they want to live, but also invest in properties. Get all the benefits of investing in an investment property and collect rent at the same time. Yes, that's right. Because the thing is, what we have to realise is there's 15,000 suburbs in Australia. And out of those 15,000 suburbs, not all of them are going up or down at the same time. And not all of them are going to get you a result. However, when you invest in the top 100 by doing the proper algorithm, which is what we do, then you're going to get much better returns than anyone else. Yeah, right. We had an interesting comment here from Adam. He said, half fixed and half variable. Is this a good idea to be able to make a purchase? Well, after the presentation, I'm going to go through questions. Okay. And Adam's, Adam's Q and A's at the end. <laughs> uh, yeah, Q and A's at the end. So we're not going to be answering any questions now because otherwise, you know, we're going to. We don't have all night. <laughs> we're going to Q and A at the end, exactly. So, yeah. so putting an investor hat on, what we want to do is not get an own occupier, but if we do, we want to get the equity out and we want to get an investment property. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, because what's going to happen is when you want to go to own occupier, no one's paying you rent. And when you go to work, they take out super, take out a big chunk of tax, and whatever's left over, you've got to pay bills, expenses, and living, and then you've got to pay the rest off your mortgage. And you've got hardly anything left. Yeah. It really sucks. Now, I know rents have been very high in Australia, but actually, they're starting to drop down. Funny enough. Because what's happened is rents got pushed up too high, and now that the leases are ending people are leaving and moving back in home with their parents and doing other things and going to more affordable places. So the rental market slowed down. So if you get an investment property, the beautiful part of investment property is what we can do is we can actually take out the tax and the rent and use the rent and tax to pay for most of the property. And this way, it's only costing you. So if you're going to buy a $600,000 house, if you bought it as owner occupier, that's going to cost you a lot of money per week. But if you've got an investment property and got the right structure, 
you can get that for about $100, $200 a week. Now, most people can afford that. And that's the beauty of it. Yeah, that's doable. So what we want to do, ultimately, what we want to do is get the tenant and the tax band to pay and get them doing the heavy lifting. Well, that's but, where we talk about leverage and yes. getting the others to do that work and chip in that way. Exactly, exactly. So, but what I want to do is talk about depreciation because basically bricks and mortar are tax deductible and that's a flat line over 40 years. And then mm-hmm. the fit out of your property is tax deductible and you can get a flat line on diminishing return. And I'll explain what that means in a minute. And then the loan costs are also tax deductible as well. And on top of that, your, your council rates, um, water connection, all your expenses to do with the property are a tax deduction. Nice. So, but not all properties are equal. See, the thing is, if you've got a $450,000 property built pre-1985, you're going to get zero depreciation because it's all gone. And then something built in 2000, you get 1625. But something brand new now, you're going to get $12,000 depreciation. Mm. And th- what, what the exciting thing about depreciation is, is usually when you depreciate something, it's because it's going down in value. So you buy a brand new car, that depreciates. Well, it does because you lose 20% as soon as you drive off the curb, right? But property is a very unusual thing where you can depreciate it, but it's actually going up in value every year. It still goes up at the same time, yeah. Yeah. So Very rare. If ever, so if you ever wanted to have your investment cake and eat your investment cake too, this is what you want, the property, because nothing else you cannot get any other investment cake where you can eat your cake and have it and eat it too. It's beautiful. Lovely. So so twelve thousand the first year, and over ten years you're getting eighty thousand dollars. So imagine getting eighty thousand dollars worth of tax deductions while you're making money. That's Everything massive. Else. That's a yeah. game changer. Yes, it's a game changer. I mean, that's but... that's an extra income, basically. Yep, but coming in. We've got we can we can make this even more powerful. Because we're very smart. We're going to put our street smart investor hat on. And street smart investors, what are they working for? They're working for money for life. So if you want to get money for life, you want to get every single thing to help you. And what we're going to do is we're going to do an income tax withholding variation. I know it's a bit of a mouthful, but this is quite a powerful thing where what you can do is you can fill out a form or get your accountant to do it for you. Mm -hmm. And you can send to the government once you've bought a property and you've done the depreciation schedule, we've done all the right things. There's a few things you've got to put in line, but we do this every week for our clients and our members. And then you send them a letter, accountant gets the application, gets approved, and then you get a letter back. And this letter goes to your employer, and your employer has to give your tax back on a weekly basis. I'll show you how it works. Let's say you're getting $2,000 a week on average, the average wage. And the net pay is 1,410. The ATO take a big chunk out, 590, right? Going towards Albo's four and a half million dollar property um, that he bought recently. Actually, it was 104.5 million dollars. Wow, I'd like to see that. The house was uh, 100, 104.5. I'm at 4.5 million, but the government's spending 100 million fixing the roads and making it all better. Interesting. So net pay is 1495. But what we're going to do is we're going to only pay five by five because we've got an ITWV. That means you get an extra $85 a week in your pocket. Cha-ching. Oh, exactly. No, I mean, who would like an extra $85 a week? Type in 85 in the chat in the comments. I'd like you to interact and tell me. Absolutely. This. We've got to have someone that wants that. Maybe they don't want the extra 85. Only me, okay. <laughs> okay. And then you got Albo, he's not too happy about that. He needs no. more money. So <laughs> it's like we can take the blue pill and keep paying our mortgage for the rest of our lives and not use our tax deduction. We can get the red pill and really do something different. And these are the choices we've got, really, at the end of the day. Work smarter. You can just keep giving your money to the tax department. And you know what? The government needs your money. We need to pay for more NDIS and other stuff and more roads and things and um, especially that road around 
around Albo's house, but or the new <laughs> way. And what we can do, invest your money in positive property and you can get your tax dollars and convert them into property, literally. Yeah, that sounds a lot smarter. It is, it is. And how does it work in real life? Well, if you've got a $450,000 house, the total costs, including stamp duty and lawyer's fees, is going to be um, mm. $463,000. You've got $450,000 rent. On top of that, you've got the 85 tax variation we just spoke about. So therefore, you're going to end up with $535,000. And then the interest is going to be $438,000. And then you've got $66 costs, $504,000 weekly outgoing there's 31 dollars now per week awesome now where do you get the deposit well you got cash you got equity in your home super or creative finance and joint venture that's the way mm -hmm. people are doing it now right funny enough a lot of people are buying property with their s sms app mm. right so Using home equity, if you've got a house worth 500000 and you owe 300 well, then you've got a lazy equity sitting there worth 200000 doing nothing. And a lot of people, what they're doing is they're going to work every day, their equity staying at home. And I've got a proposal for you, for all the people there for mortgage. If you've got a mortgage, type in M, because literally you've got a pile of money sitting in your lounge room and you can use it to create wealth today because my favorite way of investing is using equity. I don't like using cash. I like using equity. I like keeping the cash for myself. Mm. See, this is the old way of doing and paying a mortgage. Literally, it's hard. My We're parents, getting to it, guys. We're getting to how to cut your mortgage in half. My parents worked very hard for long hours. We never got to go out to restaurants or anything else like that because they wanted to pay the mortgage. A lot of people think that way, unfortunately, and it's such an old school mentality where everyone thinks they have to work more hours, grind away and put every cent, scrimp and save and stick it all straight on the mortgage. But what's that achieving? Well, the thing is, this is the thing. Most mortgages are very big. Mm. And you not going out for dinner one or two nights a week and scrimping and saving and buying, um, what's that brand, the Coles brand or the whatever it's called, the cheap one, you know what I mean? Home the brand. Cheap, home brand, buying the home brand, eating baked beans on toast. You it's sacrificing your life isn't actually moving the needle at all. Not much. No, no, it's moving the needle, but not, not much at all. Minuscule. Right? You're going to save yourself a little bit. But what mm. we want to do, we want to have a massive impact. What we want to do is we want to have the same lifestyle I don't want to forgo going out for dinner and having fun, but I want to do it the smart way. Because there's two ways you can pay off your mortgage, the hard way and slog it out or the or the smart way. And let me show you the this. The hard way. slog. Yep. So this is the way it is. If you've got a $500,000 house and you've got a 350000 loan at 7%, mm -hmm. the principal interest is going to be nineteen ninety per month. Now, we know that the banks don't give you a lot of principal that you pay off at the beginning. It's all at the end. So you're mainly paying interest at the beginning anyway. Mm. But what we're going to do, and that that 1990 never changes. It stays the same for the next 30 years. Wow. What we're going to do is we're going to do interest only and get $14.90 a month. We've got an extra $500 cash flow already per month. How good is that? But we're not going to get that cash flow and go to the crowd casino and spend it. What we're going to do is we're going to get an offset account. And we're going to put that 500 in there. Also, we're going to get our wages and put it in there. Then mm -hmm. all our bills, um, our groceries, petrol, restaurants, living expenses, we're going to put in our credit card. We're going to get 30 to 55 days interest-free. So that means our bills are sitting in an offset account, offsetting our interest. So if you had a $350,000 loan and you had $350,000 in your offset account, you'd be paying zero interest. That's how powerful this is. We are almost at the end of our Facebook Live session, George, so we might Let's want go. to wrap it up. I'm going to wrap it up. Don't worry. Yeah. So we paid that in full. And just by doing this, your home loan's paid off in 11 years, saving you 19 years. Now, if you look at this graph, the red Boom. is the payments you would have paid and the blue is what we're paying. And now look at this. 
We're saving $254,000 in interest by doing it differently, by getting a loan that serves us instead of getting a loan to serve the bank. Because if you go to the bank and you go to the bank, oh, look, I want to get an offset account. Oh, they do interest only. You know what they're going to say? No. You should you do principal and interest. <laughs> yes. They're going to say, do principal and interest. Do this instead. Because they mm. want what they want to get. They want the, the loan that serves the bank. Not now, I'm going to reduce it even more. This is even more magical. We're going to cut it down to five or six years. Then what we do is we get the equity, get investment property. The rent goes into there, get another one, and your rent keeps going in. Hmm. It keeps missing that offset account, but it's supposed to go in there, right? <laughs> it does go in the offset account, ladies and gentlemen. So the, the nature of the program is this. The 10 in 10 positive formula is like this. You want to get 10 properties, $500,000 each. And what we're going to do is get $5 million worth of value, $5 million worth of equity. And at 5%, it's going to give you $250,000 a year of passive income. So let's recap. That's life-changing. Exactly. And look, anyone that's watching our live, if you want to learn how to do this, type in hashtag, Christina, hashtag, Freedom. Freedom. Type in hashtag freedom and our team will reach out to you and I'll send you the training on how to do this. But also, um, yeah. So let's recap. We can do it the old way and pay full tax and end up broke at age 65. Or we can swap our tax for high growth cash flow passive assets. We can claim depreciation. We can do an ITWV. We can put more money in a weekly pay packet. We can lower our tax to virtually zero legally. We can pay off our home loan half the time, save hundreds of thousands of dollars in interest payments to the bank, and build a passive income that goes up every single year. And that's how you pay off your mortgage, ladies and gentlemen. That's powerful. Thank you. Now, what I was going to do is we're going to do Q&A, and we're going to go in our private group, and we're going to talk about some more advanced strategies. But the people on the live, on the Facebook live, on YouTube, on our podcast, um, Go to our Facebook group, go to our YouTube, type in hashtag freedom and our team will reach out to you and see if there's a good fit for you. I want to say thank you for watching us and we're going to be back next week. Thank you. We'll see you same time next week. Okay.